What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of Evolution X. Now taking a look on the change logs, it says that it is based on the latest A11 firmware. So that is needed if you want to flash this particular ROM. I know some people are still complaining about the issues where the recovery is getting stuck and you are booting directly into the fast boot. So yeah, recovery removing things are still happening but let me tell you, if you are still on the Android 10 vendor or if your device has the Android 10 vendor and if you want to flash this ROM, then the recovery might get stuck into fast boot or something. So yeah, those things still are happening but let me tell you to fix that completely, I will suggest you guys to just fast boot flash the latest Android 11 based MIUI which is the 12.5.1 you can flash the like latest MIUI with the fast boot method if you don't know how to do that you can check out the card right there to have the guide you should be coming from the latest official MIUI then only you can get the ROM perfectly working and I do have the ROM perfectly working over here and I even updated it from the previous builds so yeah all those things are working and let me tell you my storage is decrypted so I had to flash the fcrypt display and stuff so if you ask me personally about the flashing method, well, I would say I fast boot flash the stock MIUI, the latest one, Android 11 based MIUI. After that, I clean flash the recovery, that is the latest Orange Fox recovery, formatted data and reboot it to the recovery again. And after that, I just flash the ROM file with the fcrypt disabler and with Magisk and I just reboot it. That's how I have been flashing this Evolution X ROM that have been working totally fine. Of course, I use the latest Orange Fox recovery here. Also, the offline charging is still broken over here. So if your device is powered off, then you plug in your device. It won't show you the charging animation for long time. It will show just for one second, then it will boot into the system directly. So yeah, offline charging over here is still broken. Other than that, you can see the other ROM side changes. But let me tell you what has actually changed. Well, I'm not seeing a huge change over here, but the ROM has been feeling a lot more smoother everywhere in the UI and I have been daily driving on this ROM properly and I have never faced any kind of huge issues except for one which I'll talk about but yeah everything almost is working perfectly fine swiping down still gets you to the notification panel and all those things are still working like the FPS info is still there and the volume panel and the power menu everything else all the toggles are there the light display is there you can turn on the like outdoor bright sun mode from here and also we have the always on display turning off turning on option and we have the hotspot the screen recording everything else are working properly even bluetooth audio is working properly over here no issues even for calls and stuff the bluetooth headsets are working totally fine also with the like headphone jack the sound quality is great no issues whatsoever that i have faced also i do have the magisk flashed over here and with that i have installed the anx camera this is a version 190R and that is working perfectly fine here, no issues whatsoever. Even the front camera is working perfectly fine and yes, it does work flawlessly everywhere, no issues whatsoever that I have faced with the ANX camera except for one. Let me talk about that now. So yesterday my device was at like 28% juice left. So then I tried to go into the mode and I tried to take a slow-mo video over here and I just took a 1080p 120fps video and after taking that video my phone just powered off direct from 28% battery and then it was not even booting into system. Yes, I, I did see the boot animation for a couple of times when I hold the power button but then it never booted to the system and let me tell you I could not plug it in because I was outdoors so I tried to boot into the recovery by just pressing and holding the volume up and the power button together then I did successfully reboot to the orange fox recovery but in there it showed me the battery is 0% but when I came back home and when I plugged in the device, then it was charging normally. It showed me about 30% juice when I just plugged in the device. So yeah, that is a weird kind of bug. It was not booting into the system. Even when I had the battery from about 28%, it went straight into the zero. That could be happening because my battery is pretty old. Let me actually show you over here. As you can see, it does have about 600 plus cycles. So 614 cycles right now my device has. And this current battery capacity right now is dynamic so it will adjust on your battery percentage right now earlier in the evolution x roms in the like current battery capacity it used to show the proper like full battery capacity but right now it is dynamic it, 
it is depending on your battery percentage and when the battery percentage actually drops to like 60 50 percent then this current battery capacity will be dropping too so yeah this is one huge change that i have been noticing on the latest evolution x roms of course we still have the charging cycle showing up over here and the battery temperature and the design battery capacity shows up over here the screen on time is there and depending like talking about the battery life i would say depending on your usage you might get about six plus hours of screen on time but yes the battery life is not that great here and it's decent enough i would say in all android 11 firmware based roms the battery life is not that great but yeah that's how it is and if you tap here you can see the full battery usage and of course the fast charging the 33 watt fast charging is working properly here no issues with that and here i have also installed this gcam and this rom does not come with any kind of camera by default so yeah, I have to install the camera separately and as you can see this is the Gcam Go that too is working perfectly fine no issues also I have this Gcam by Yonix that too is working perfectly fine this is the PX Mod 8.1 Gcam and that too is working perfectly fine with night sight and stuff everything is working fine here so yeah Gcam is not a problem but then again you have to install a camera separately on this particular ROM because there is no stock camera here also, even after flashing Magisk and using Magisk Height, my banking apps are working totally fine. So safety net passes right out of the box too here. That is not a problem either. The DRM info stays as L1, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues. Now talking about the stock launcher again, of course this is a pixel launcher, so we don't have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. So you have to double tap on the status bar to actually get into the like lock screen or the always on display and as you can see this is how the always on display looks like yes you can customize it too we do get this android 12 style lock screen clock and of course double tapping to wake also works fine here and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed now and here as you can see it unlocks flawlessly so the fingerprint scanner has been really reliable no issues whatsoever that i have faced with the fingerprint scanner here it unlocks 100 percent of the time sometimes it does take a little longer but yeah, most of the time the fingerprint scanner works perfectly fine. So that is not a problem at all. Also, let me jump into the settings. And of course, we still have this the Evolver customization. And we have plenty of customization. If you go into the themes, this is how it looks like now. And you can change the like color preset and stuff. All the customizations are there and I'm not going to show you everything. But yes, there are huge amount of font customization as you can see. Plethora of fonts that you will get. Also the icon shape, the rounded corners, everything you can customize. I did customize it to high. That's why you are seeing these rounded corners as you can see. So yeah, let me go back and the clock style you can change from here. I have been using it with the Android 12 beta, but you can use it with the other Android 12 ones. Or again, we have the OnePlus or the MNML and the shape shift clock, etc. So yeah, huge amount of lock screen clocks that you will get. And all the customizations that was there earlier are there still. In the MISC settings, we have this force brightness values on the always on display and the usb configuration all those convenient things are still there also in the gaming mode there are a few changes and i did even change the like toggle styles if you're noticing so yeah all these customizations are there and you can use it however you want to in the display settings one thing is cool that we have this android 12 search bar here and this is just this particular searching settings and if you search something over here let me actually show you and as you can see this search panel is pretty quick right now and you can search for anything over here in the display settings again we have the lock screen customization and over here we have the always show time and info wake screen for notification etc all these things and let me scroll down more we have the night light the live display and the styles and wallpapers are there also from here you have the like theme changing option let me go back and the double tap to wake works fine pocket detection works fine wake up on plug you can disable and the blurring option is there so as you can see right now i have the enable blurs option enabled that's why you are seeing this background blur looks very cool also the dc dimming is still there but of course it is still buggy with night light and let me jump into the sound and vibration now and this is how it looks like we have the dial pattern screen locking sound charging sound etc if you go into the me sound enhancer we still have the youth edition and stuff so yeah all these like me audio directs are working fine the hi-fi audio option is still there and we have these presets so sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is great now if you want to look at the about section or the android version section this is how it looks like now here on top we still have the evolution x logo the android version still shows as android 11 and one thing is new here there we have the evolution x version 5.9.2 sanctuary and there is a build date 26 september 2021 build this is now this is new let me just keep tapping on it and as you can see this is a new easter egg over here of evolution x and it looks very very cool in my frank opinion let me go back right now we have the security patch as latest of september 5th 2021 
and if you scroll down more we have the build date here 26 september again and the build maintainer is still joho up of course great work by him on this particular rom i have been really driving on this except for the battery drop issue on from like 28 percent to zero i did not face any kind of major issues here and the slinux status shows as enforcing really sorry for the background noise guys in the system panel this is how it looks like in the front camera settings we still have the camera calibration option and it does work and we have the front camera sound disabling options and the front camera raise dialog the camera led you can disable or enable from here in the gesture settings we have a lot of gestures and if you want to take a screenshot as you can see there is a scrolling option and you can edit and delete them but yes it does go away if you don't like do it quickly so yeah as you can see so it just goes away if you don't do it quickly and in the power menu we have these cards option and again this is how the power menu looks like we still have the google cards or google smart home cards you can turn off or turn on your smart lights from right here and if you go into advanced you can see there is a directly rebooting option to the recovery or fast boot and you can directly reboot to the recovery of course from here let me go back we have the quickly open camera and stuff those are working fine not a problem right now let me show you some more things like okay google all right so watch this i just turned off shooting this video and right now hey google as you can see it's working fine let me show you one more time okay google see it's working fine now i mean whenever i record things go wrong right. yeah and that's great and in the google photos backup as you can see there is the unlimited backup over here if you're noticing right here so yeah it does work with the google pixels unlimited backup feature and we still have this new dialer over here and it does have this newer call button if you're noticing let me just place a call and yeah this is how pretty much it looks like it does not have any call recording option but yeah that's how it is but vaulty calling is perfectly working fine here and this is how the recent panel looks like we can take a screenshot and you can select stuff and if you want to go into the split screen mode or something you can do that and if you go all the way to the left you have the clear all option from right here the ram management over here is really great no issues whatsoever and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the android and geekbench score with a cpu stress test on this particular rom and the volume panels and stuff everything you can customize no issues whatsoever with those so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys on the latest evolution x rom and i would say this is pretty much at the edge of android 11 so yeah android 12 is right around the corner so don't expect too much fixes on these android 11 builds because the developers will be working on the android 12 builds really soon but at the moment i would say this is one of the best roms you can get for your redmi k20 pro because i feel this is only where the anx camera is working perfectly fine you are getting drm l1 right out of the box please share this video with your friends who has the redmi k20 pro if they want to know about a custom rom the best custom rom at least as of right now based on android 11 this is the one so yeah thank you so much for watching this video again give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now